Hey everyone, with more movie theater locations opening back up, you're probably wanting to watch A Quiet Place Part 2 in theaters, or you're probably sitting on the edge of your seat as you wait and see how the greatest movie unfolds, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Oh wait, I mean the great AMC short squeeze. Although the recent price action has come down from its highs only a few days ago, the AMC community is really coming together after this thinking of AMC as a reopening play plus the increased short interest that's taking AMC to stock to the moon. With all of this attention on AMC stock and the upcoming short squeeze, in this video, I'll explain the updates of AMC stock, the potential short squeeze and further potential, and potential price action. But before we talk about the meteoric rise of AMC, I'd really appreciate it if you could destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. For the low price of $0, you can help this video get pushed out to other people looking to start investing, whether in AMC or another company, by turning the like button blue. So thank you for doing that. And with that said, let's get into the video. So as of after hours on Friday, June 4, AMC had a stock price of $43.74. Although it's been recently on the, on the downtrend, if we look at the five-day chart, we see that it's still up over 51%. Also, if we look at the one-month chart, we see that AMC is still up over 400%. Now, if you're not familiar with the recent AMC Gamma Squeeze, I made a separate video discussing that in length. I linked that video down below in the description if you're interested in checking it out. So I'll start by quickly catching you up to speed with the latest short interest metrics. There are 1.7 million short shares up from half a million from last week. The short borrow fee rate is 11.25% up from 7.74%. Also, the short volume ratio is 19.48%, down from 20.52%. The number of fails to deliver shares is around 126,000 shares, down from just under 200,000 shares. And the ratio of institutional puts to calls is steady at 0.93. So just to quickly recap, gamma is the rate of change in an options delta per one point move in the underlying assets price. The chart here shows a sample graph of what an options delta chart would look like for a long call option on a stock. So we're seeing a lot of short-term call options buying. So we can see here over 16,000 trades have happened for the 145 strike calls expiring on June 11, which is this Friday. Now the volatility in the stock price caused the circuit breaker to trigger. Circuit breaker points represent the thresholds at which trading is halted to prevent panic selling. Trading halts for specific symbols can be implemented for a variety of reasons and can interrupt your orders to buy or sell particular securities. These stock-based halts are initiated by the specific stock exchange where the stock is listed or by the SEC. For context, the new rules follow changes adopted on June 10, 2010 that impose a uniform market-wide pause in trading in individual stocks where price moves 10% or more in a 5% minute period. Keep in mind, market-wide trading halts can also be implemented by exchanges during periods of heightened volatility across the broader market. So the circuit breaker can explain why we saw the price fluctuate this past week. Because of this recent uptick in the short interest for AMC, we're still seeing Google trends for AMC now higher than GameStop. Also, AMC's trend is still rising. So maybe the case where AMC gains more awareness leading up to the short squeeze, like what we saw with GameStop earlier this year. Interestingly, AMC is still also trending more than Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and Tesla on Google Trends. This chart shows the Wall Street bets sentiment for AMC versus comment volume over time. While there doesn't appear to be a clear correlation between these two metrics, we see overall sentiment for AMC declining from its peak. Whether that affects the stock price up or down remains to be seen. Also, this chart shows Wall Street bets stock mentions in the past 24 hours. As we can see here, GME overtook AMC as the most mentioned stock, but AMC is still highly mentioned at a close second place. Now, one great trend to be a part of that isn't listed here is to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. For every like button you turn blue, you're helping to increase the value of this video by having it be recommended to others. So thank you for doing that. And with that said, let's get back into the video. So according to Investor Place, trading in AMC stock was halted after shares raced more than 90% higher. Although its short interest is lower than at the start of 2021, social media sentiment is coming back in full force for the movie theater operator. Broadly, it seems that retail investors are hoping to cash in on the reopening and prove short sellers wrong. Strong Memorial Day weekend in the box office has helped this narrative 
as have powerful releases like Cruella. This week, investors have also been cheering on news of a $230 million share purchase by Mudrick Capital. Today, the business, biggest news was the launch of the AMC Investor Connect program. This will allow its millions of retail investors to self-identify and claim shareholder exclusive perks. To start, AMC is offering up free large popcorns. The company says it will continue to develop new perks throughout the summer months. Although free popcorn may not be anything to write home about, It speaks to a greater narrative. Wall Street Bets and other social media platforms have united to rally behind AMC, even as its share price dipped from early 2021 highs. In fact, many have credited retail investors with helping the theater operator avoid bankruptcy during the pandemic. This means the AMC Investor Connect program is a show of good faith from the company and a way of validating the mission of the AMC community. Now, there's a Reddit post with a link to another Reddit post with a CNBC video about the naked shorts rumor. In the video, one of the CNBC hosts said, naked shorts, yeah, in response to essentially a description of naked shorts by one of the other hosts. Now, this is pure speculation on my part, but if you notice in the video, her facial expression right after she says that may imply that she said something that she wasn't supposed to, which would imply that naked shorts are indeed being used to short AMC. In that case, it would be a perfect setup for an AMC short squeeze. Feel free to watch the CNBC clip for yourself to make your own opinion and conclusion. Now, Forbes also wrote an article on AMC exposing risks to index funds. Take the $68 billion iShares Russell 2000 ETF, ticker IWM. In the past week through Thursday, AMC powered 70% of the product's advance. The stock was responsible for less than uh, one-tenth of the fund's return in the previous week. The AMC effect can be seen across a range of funds. Alongside IWM, the $17.5 billion iShares Russell 2000 value ETF, ticker IWN, and $72 billion iShares core S&P small cap ETF, ticker IJR, have also seen the stock's influence climb. At the same time, meme mania is bigger than ever. Alongside AMC and GameStop, companies including BlackBerry, Koss, and Bed Bath & Beyond also saw huge moves in the past week. The cash and chaos exposes a glitch in the plumbing of many funds, which is what they're often tied to the rebalancing schedule of the index they follow. Given the speed of the rallies in the likes of AMC and GameStop, even tracking an index that rebalances quarterly, a relatively frequent schedule by industry standards, leaves a fund susceptible to distortion. Not too long ago, AMC shares looked cheap and beaten down, meaning it qualified for many value factor strategies. But the wild surge of recent weeks makes it among the most expensive stocks in the Russell 3000. AMC shares currently stand at almost 10 times the level analysts see trading a year from now, $5.25. The premium tops all Russell 3000 stocks that have enough of an analyst following to generate a price target, according to Bloomberg data, and more than double that of GameStop, the next overvalued stock. AMC will likely remain in many value funds until their rebalancing comes around. The obvious solution would be to rebalance more often, but that would bring more transactional costs to funds, which can be a big problem for passive vehicles charging rock bottom fees. Indexes are created using all sorts of methods, but the most common are cap weighted and equal weighted, and neither is immune to meme stock distortion. IWM is based on a cap weighted index, meaning it allocates according to the company's market cap. While it means it can keep pace with AMC's rally, it's automatically more exposed to potentially unstable investments. The fund now holds 1.75% of AMC, Bloomberg data show. At the under end of the spectrum, $21 million SoFi 50 ETF, ticker SFYF, is based on an equal weight gauge, meaning it aims to hold roughly the same value of shares in each of its constituents. But with a semi-annual rebalancing schedule, AMC now accounts for 20% of the fund. It should be in the low single digits. Ultimately, all of this should add up to good news for active money managers. Now, one way to play this is to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to get notified when my videos get uploaded. It's completely free to subscribe and hit the bell, and each subscribe and bell you click directly helps each video get watched more. So thank you for doing that. And with that said, let's get back into the video. Now, Bloomberg wrote another article explaining how AMC could make it to the Russell 1000. For context, the Russell reconstitution is a big deal every year. But this time, 
Potential changes for GameStop and AMC make it interesting for a broader swath of investors than normal. Will AMC and GameStop be moved into the large cap Russell 1000 from the small cap Russell 2000? Well, the key date is June 25th. The company's index, potential index inclusion in either the Russell 1000 or 2000 can be calculated from the given breakpoint of $5.2 billion. The reconstitution process is pretty formulaic. There's a whole cottage industry of analysts who predict changes to the indexes in advance with high accuracy. A preliminary ranking uh, was done by Russell on May 7. The first round of information was announced on Friday with a preliminary list of additions and deletions from the Russell 3000. However, they aren't broken out into the final components of the Russell 1000 and 2000 until after the close on June 25. As market cap weighted indexes, their components will depend on a company's value at the close of business that day. Now, according to CNBC, inflation data is a highlight of the week ahead as investors focus on economic news in the void between earnings season and the next Fed meeting. But it's the meme stocks that took the headlines and also contributed to concerns about froth in the stock market. Steve Masoka, managing director at Webbush Securities, said the trading in names like GameStop and Bed Bath & Beyond is one of the things that has made him more cautious about the market. He said the high valuations on the meme names are unlikely to last. Masoka also said investors should stay focused on things like inflation, since that could be what makes the Federal Reserve reverse its easy policy. The Fed has so far said it sees the higher inflation readings as transitory. Economists expect CPI to be up 4.7% year over year after April's 4.2% pace, according to Dow Jones. Core inflation is expected to be up 0.4% for the month and 3.4% year over year. Fear the Fed stepping back from its easy policy has been hanging over the market. Now, the CPI report is the next point of focus ahead of the Fed's June 15 to 16 meeting. The next question is, will it be so hot that the central bank may have to reassess its view about the temporary nature of inflation, or could it show that prices, price increases are peaking? There are just a few earnings in the week ahead. One of the most handful of names reporting is the meme name GameStop on Wednesday. Campbell Soup also reports that day, and Chewy reports Thursday. G7 finance ministers meet this weekend, and President Joe Biden will attend a meeting of the organization leaders in Cornwall, England on Friday. So with all that being said, in the meantime, you can get started with investing in AMC by getting two free stocks valued up to $1,850 when you use my Webull link down below and get and deposit $100 in your Webull account. Also, if you're interested in buying Bitcoin and earning interest on your crypto, sign up using my BlockFi link down below and you'll get up to $250 as a crypto bonus depending on how much money you initially deposit into your account. So I hope you got a lot of value from this video and learned about the AMC short squeeze. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more investing and personal finance content, and hit the bell to get notified when my videos get uploaded. Also, comment down below anything else you want to see and learn. And follow me on my socials to get even more investing and personal finance content. With that said, thanks for watching. Take care.